welcome to the channel. Today, I want to talk about the vector layer again, but this time using the new version of the Clip Studio Paint. This is the Pro Edition. As you can see here on the help about, we got the 1.9.9 .9, and this time we can use new features in the vector layer with the addition of a new tool, the Bezier Curve. Before this, we could mimic the Bezier Curve using the Balloon tool. If you choose the Balloon tool and the Curve Balloon is selected, here you can see the, the line color, you can change the line corner, you can define a specific color to be applied every time, independent of the, the foreground and background color as it, it is here for the line and for the fill. But by selecting this tool and having the curve balloon selected and this one highlighted, we could do something really cool with this. As you can see, because we, as we close this shape, it auto fills and it's really easy because you can select this shape using the O key or hitting here, operation. Then you can select the shape and change it by here, one click, and you make the change. You can change the, the line with it. And then what we used to do, we, we go closer, you, and then you hit the Y key to go for this option, the correct lines. And this is something new. Look how the panel is now. I got duplicated tools of the control point, one for moving, one for with it, and one for the, the add control. But now you don't need to do this. You can change quickly here by clicking and changing. Before this, there used to be a box here that you had to select it. And every time you want to do something, you got two options of or use the box or, or use the, the shortcuts for making. And by using the, what is it here? The adjust line with it. You can click, drag to the left to decrease, and that drag to the right to increase. To make a soft transition, you can use the shortcuts. That is something that I will talk again here, but you can check it out on the tip that I did for the, the last mount. If you hold shift and click, you create a dot. The white dot means that there is a, a something that you can move. For example, you can come here and move it. The red dot is the handle. So you, you don't move the vector, but you change the way the curve behaves. And by adding something here, you can go and once again, increase a little bit more the, the, the thickness of the line. And you got now a soft transition between something that looks a little more sharper to something that goes almost to no contour. And now, as you can see, you can use the U key and use the Bezier curve to do the same on the vector layer. Do it on a vector layer to have more control. You click, hold and drag and you make your shape. Then you can make a selection with the, the when tool and behind it you can fill. If you don't like the color, you can change the color in the hue saturation. Really quick and everything works if you go to the vector layer you can come here and change the width it as we did before a nice shortcuts that you can use on a vector layer that is something really good to to mesmerize let, let us say like this i'm going to select the balloon the curved balloon with this option here and i'm going to click and do a curve now notice that as we do this, the angle is restricted to this. It has this reference, the, the other information of the drawing as a reference. So if you want to do a straight line, 
you hold the shift key and you click in the vector and now you can do a, a line without the previous information of the vector so you can go here then you can do again everything and you can click here and it's nice to make adjustment for curves for example and if you make a mistake you can hit the backspace to delete everything because if you're trying to make an S for example if you go click here and here and now you're gonna do the S look it's a little harder you, you gotta make a step further you gotta go here and do this however if you don't want to make something like that you can click and you can click with the shift here and go and adjust and adjust again and adjust again and so forth if you want to ink a drawing like for example this one the first step is to throw down the opacity of the drawing and now we focus on the silhouette of the shape so for example you can go here I'm gonna do it with the balloon because I like how it feels automatically and all the shortcuts that we are using here can be replicated on the Bezier curve so I'm gonna do this first I'm gonna click let, let us see I'm gonna click here one dot and on the point now I'm gonna bend it over I need to go there so I'm gonna hold shift and click here so I can click again here and bend it everything can be readjusted later if you think that the vector is in the wrong spot you can hold control click and change the position if you want to change the corner let's see I'm gonna hit I'm gonna just close this one here if you if you think that it's too pointy you can change the the, the corner you press the Y key to go here go towards the the point you hold shift and alt and you click it and now you got a rounded point you just need to readjust the drawing maybe I add a, a new vector here holding shift click and pull back so let us delete this and do it actually do it with the bezier 